So as you can see, the mesh is circulating inside the system. So you can see how intensively this steel started to work. So here you can see the spirit, it's not the transparent, but actually spirit from the steam uh, heat exchanger coming into the boiler of the secondary column and it's getting evaporated there again and coming up to the fractional column getting separated here and so we we're having the first spirit coming out you can see it it's not adjusted yet and I would say it's somewhere around 80% so what about the water trap uh, when the spirit coming into the boiler and uh, as you remember there's a double walled boiler, uh, boiler and uh, and inside the volume of this boiler there is only spirit and outside one actually separates the water so the water coming into the water trap and because there is a sim similar level the water constantly reduced the thing is when you are distilling it just uncontrollably for further redistillation and a fractional steel for drinking purposes there is no need to control no need to collect this water this particular one but when you're producing the fuel ethanol this waste water separated one could contain up to 10% of the alcohol so what I would recommend to collect this water and if it contains any alcohol just at the end, at the end of distillation pour it into your tank fermenting tank it just redistill it as simple mesh so in this case this water seems to be free of alcohol uh, now about this spirit so we've got another valve this one and this valve should be adjusted so to make this spirit coming out at speed of approximately 2 liters per hour so it would be equal to approximately 17 or 18 milliliters for 30 seconds so for this purpose for this purpose you're using the measuring glass it's actually used for in labs you collect the spirit and at the same time you check the time that elapsed uh, in our case uh, we're gonna check how much we're gonna get in 30 seconds time so if you're having more than 20 milliliters or something you have to adjust it at approximately 17 18 I would say 15 milliliters per hour or per 30 seconds would be the most ideal solution and you're gonna get your spirit at approximately 95% strength plus a little bit more about this breathing system so this breathing pipe actually connected to the lower section of a, a fractional heat exchanger so what it does, when accidentally your collection tube will be submerged in the spirit, there is no pressure raise will happen in all entire system. So it's just gonna breathe and let your spirit coming out freely. Uh, on a water trap, we have another breathing system. So it's done especially for the purpose. Not uh, and for example, if we're not gonna have this kind of breathing system all our water gonna be sucked out of uh, boiler and uh, then there is no pressure necessary inside the system and we're gonna lose our spirit and everything so you can see that system is working properly and stable So we've got clock over here and I already adjusted the speed of flow at approximately 2 liters per hour. So you see there's a tap, it's slightly closed, 
So what we're doing by closing this step, we're actually redu reducing the amount of spirit we're taking out and sending some spirit back. And by getting back, it actually forces the steam to become liquid and steam that coming up forces the liquid to become steam. So as a result, we've got only the highest fraction reaching the column, the top of the column. So we should get a very high percentage of spirit now. Uh, after adjustment, you're not gonna get your spirit straight away, so I would recommend when you start your distillation just to keep this valve closed completely for at least five minutes before you open it up and adjust the uh, spirit flow. Because if you keep it uh, open, so you've got all the fractions coming out the steel. So it means you've got water and everything else here, so it reduces the percentage of the spirit by by keeping it closed you actually uh, forcing the spirits from some kind of queue inside the column and the heaviest ones gonna stay in the nip and on the lightest fractions gonna reach the top of the top so here we've got water constantly separated from the spirit actually uh, if you really water tight you can reuse the water this particular water could be reused for the next fermentation and the waste waste mesh that coming out could be used for next fermentation as well if collected so all water and waste could be reused again in this system even water that used for the cooling, uh, cooling system down could be reused again uh, if it's gonna run for the some kind of radiator even uh, air cooled radiator through this second pump sort of like this one so there is no actually waste at all that water supply is okay and there's a main thing not to lose water in your water distribution system other way you're gonna burn your heat elements heating elements and here you see the water level so it's okay <laughs> 